Hello again, and welcome to another special video here on Lick and Riff, in which I'm going to finally try to answer a question you've been asking me for nearly four years now, with the aid of this ukulele. It's not my ukulele, it's a good friend of mine's, and um, I borrowed it to answer a question you've been asking me since I made the video um, demonstrating the Siegel Merlin instrument. Um, you've been asking me ever since, how, how come I can just approach an instrument and just start playing it? And instead of just theoretically talking about it, I want to show you because, uh, believe it or not, I never played a ukulele before. Just never occurred to me to try. So I borrowed one and I'm gonna show you exactly how I approach it. Okay, so I'm gonna start playing it. Whatever comes out, comes out, okay? I'm not gonna cut this video or edit it in any way. And then I'm just gonna explain what I did after after the fact. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, I'm gonna start by just listening to it. Okay? Just... This is a... Okay? Okay, I'm, I'm getting a... A Chinese instrument vibe. And uh, how did I just play that? I just played a pentatonic scale shape. Okay? I didn't know whether it was gonna work, but it did. And I vibrated the 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 the, the strings to create that. Um, forget the name of the instrument. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the Chinese instrument, sorry, the, the traditional instrument, to create the same, the same vibe, because that was what I got. I didn't... I don't know how to play ukulele. I don't... I know that there's one chord with one uh, finger. I think it... I think it's this. But other than this, I, I, I've never, ever learned anything ukulele related. It was just on a website once, and my memory just retained it. So, other than this chord, I have no idea what it is. I have to rely on my ears and the shapes I know already. See? Now, I'm relying heavily on rhythm. Now this, the, 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 the low note, uh, the, um, the high note here, I expect a low note because this is where the bass string on the guitar would be. And it throws me off, but it also allows me a few surprises. And now I know that I can use these notes. Okay, two on three on strings. Uh, three and two, um, again, I, I'm completely disoriented now, right now. Let's try reversing them. So we get kind of a Chinese bluesy thing. the same on strings one and two as they do on the guitar so I wanted to kind of break out of the pentatonic
So instead of two, I played one on the third string. So apparently the, nine, the minor 9 shape from the guitar works here. finding chords. Ooh, a seventh chord. I didn't expect that. printed on my mind. So I'm just adding a high note here to that blues turnaround. Let's see how other notes would know, would So here I found another chord. Open and I try to use what I already know and if I recognize a chord then I kind of store it okay, in my inventory that I already found, I'm playing them together, playing seven, uh, seven, three, and five, just in different constellations. Ah, that, that's nice. If I can get it right.
okay, so that's major, and that's minor. And so. Uh, by the way, it's rain it started raining outside the moment I started. But until I, until I borrow a ukulele for this video, I'm not gonna start just because of some rain. It actually kind of helps me get in the mood. Ah, no, too dirty. What can I do with this high note? Striking any, striking any chord here. This is nice. I had a really nice melody there. I think it's safe to go to that Chinese sound. I never knew that a ukulele could make that sound. And that's the... I want to stop. Because this is the magic of approaching a new instrument that you don't know, of experimentation. That is, that's what I've been trying to tell you for years now. And now I could finally prove it, that if you try something completely new and get completely out of your comfort zone, you're going to come up with something magnificent. And I, I never, ever, ever imagined that I could get this sound out of a ukulele. Never, ever, ever crossed my mind. Never. This is a complete accident, a complete serendipity. So, so try it. Please, please, please try it. Try new instruments. Okay? Perfect ending, and I, and I and I fudged it. Ah. <laughs> Can't believe I pulled it off. Uh, that's but but that's what happens when you get in the zone. Um, try it. Try it. Chinese blues on ukulele, ukulele Chinese blues. Who would have thought? Exactly my point. Try new instruments. Try it. Try it. Pick one up and try it. Okay, the mistakes are meaningless. Make mistakes. Okay, make mistakes. Pick up an instrument and make mistakes. Go and make mistakes. You'll, you'll, you'll become a better musician thanks to your mistakes. Okay, okay so... Um, Thanks for watching. Bye for now.